everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So a few of you asked for a tutorial on how I put together my um, accordion collage glue book. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. It's super simple, um, but if you don't do it right, then your book won't open and close very easily. Like my pages fold very easily and there's no um, stiffness to the spine. So like I can open and close these very easily. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I took two pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock this is just cheapy craft store cardstock, 65 pound, nothing too stiff, <laughs> um, but it does become firmer as you collage on it. So when you cut down your eight and a half by 11 papers, you'll end up with four pieces of paper. And like I said, I used two, so I have eight. And these will equal out to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So if you cut two of them like that, then you will have eight, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does. Okay, so this is what we do. So we're gonna start with two panels, right? Panel number one, let me make sure this is only one. Okay, yeah. So I lay it down and I get some washi and I'm using this floral washi that I got from Amazon and I put it a little less than half on. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, like I said, I collage over a lot of this. This is just to hold the spine. Okay. And then I'm going to take my second piece and I flip it over. So this is the sticky side of the washi now. And I'm gonna make sure that these are perfectly on top of each other. So now they are. So now I'm gonna take that washi and roll it over the top to connect the two. Now you may think, oh my gosh, why am I watching a tutorial on this? That's, a, that's so easy. But here's the thing, let me show you here. So then I cut this off. And the reason why I don't wrap the washi around to the other side is because then it makes your spine bulky and stiffer so then um, it doesn't open and close as easy. Okay, so then you open it. Sometimes you have to give it just a little tug. And if you notice, you can kind of see through the light here that I have a little bit of space there. Oh, there you can see, see that sticky space? That's what's allowing my spine to open and close really easily. So I wanna make sure that that's, you know, the tape's not stuck to each other. I open it up and now I just put a piece of washi over the top of this. Now here's the thing. If I just put these papers close together like this, if I just put them together like this and washied them together, or, um, well yeah, let's just say that. If I just put these together and washied them together like this, then there would be no room for the book to open and close really easily because they're stuck together. But because there's that itty bitty little space in between, um, that allows for the book to open and close very easily. So there we go, panel one, totally done. And then I just keep repeating that same step. So now I'm gonna do a different washi. I just kind of put that washi over there and I'll do this one and I'll repeat that and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna put it about half on. Okay, turn it around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want it perfect, you can make it perfect. Um, okay, and I'm just gonna make sure that my cards are completely lined up on top of each other. That will make a huge difference. There we go. Now I'm just gonna fold this over. Wow, this is on top of the other one. Okay, now you open it and you have that little bit of space in between. 
So I like to cut off my excess tape before I put the next one down, just so I have a nice, easy surface to work from. And then I just repeat on the other side. And you don't have to use washi tape for this. You can use masking tape. That's what I've used in the past because I end up um, collaging over it. But with these, I got these washi tapes and I thought it would be really pretty to put on the spine. Um, sorry guys, I hurt my back really bad this weekend. So I'm having a hard time even breathing. Ooh. But see here how I just kind of collaged right up to the washi in the spine. I did not I did not go over with my paper because that allows my book to still open and close really easily. But you can see that the floral washi just kind of peeks out in the spine here. Just for some, you know, decoration purposes. So, you know, use whatever washi you want um, or masking tape if you just want like the tan look. So here now I have two panels and see how everything's totally even and everything folds really easily. So you can add as many panels as you'd like. Um, I did eight just because that was two pieces of cardstock cut up, gave me eight panels. And um, I felt like that was a good amount. I mean, six probably would have been easier, but it depends on what kind of project you want to have. Um, oops, I didn't put my washi on first. <laughs> It just depends on um, how big of a project you want. If you want it to be a little bit smaller, then you just make it smaller. If you want it bigger, you add more panels. Oops, so my washi was up way too high on this one. It didn't give me enough to go on the other page, so. Oops, dang it. <laughs> okay, taking this whole piece off, starting over. When I originally did this the first time, I used um, a cutting mat so that I could make my lines more like perfect. But what I realized when I was collaging is that you're only really, at least for the way I was doing it, you really only see the tape a little bit in the spine and it's really just a background. So it didn't matter if I made it straight or not because I collaged over you know, like this edge right here, because I bring my paper pretty close up to the spine on most pages. So now I'll just cut this off again, getting a nice little collection of washi on my scissors here. I should probably take those off. Okay, so open this up and you see that little bit of space. I'm telling you that little bit of space means the difference between your accordion book folding and opening easily. There you go. You can also glue your washi down if you feel like you need a extra security. Um, because I am collaging on these and I end up kind of collaging on the edges of these washi tapes, um, I don't bother gluing my washi down because I know it's going to stick because I'm gluing paper over the top of it. So yeah, so then you just kind of fold it, you know, you'll see how it naturally goes, but there we go. So there's four panels on, so you can keep it small like this. That would give you eight surfaces to glue on. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, flip it over, seven, eight. So yep, that's how I did my accordion glue book. Um, this one's coming along nicely. I did add a little bit of ribbon underneath the back panel. So here's the back. I glued some ribbon down and then I collaged over the top of it. And then that allows me to then tie a bow and close my book so it doesn't um, flop open. However, I don't really think that's necessary. Um, oops, <laughs> it's like I've never tied a bow before. I don't think it's totally necessary to have to put this ribbon here to keep your book closed. I mean, it does, it totally keeps it closed, um, but it doesn't bother me either way. So yeah, here's mine. That's what eight panels gets pretty long, doesn't it? And then the other side, whoops, 
not quite done on this side yet. I just started collaging a few things and then, um, and then I called it a day. So yeah, I'm going to be making some more of these. I really like it. It's a really fun project. Um, great for if you're going on a, you know, a little vacation and you want to bring a little glue book. Um, you can also make these, you know, four by six so that you can add pictures on them and make this like a photo album um, to give to somebody. It'd be a cute little Mother's Day gift with some photos, but yeah, so that's it. I hope um, that answers all your guys' questions. If you have any more questions, please feel free to put the questions in the comment section down below and I'll answer them for you. It's a very simple process, but the only key component is making sure you have a little bit of space in between your washi and you'll get that by setting the papers on top of each other and putting the washi down, then opening it and then you'll have that little space. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and until next time, bye.